if you ask the average Iranian, where are you from? Uh, or, you know, are you Iranian? They will say, oh, yes, I'm from Tehran. And, you know, when, you, when you're more familiar with them, they will say, oh, yes, my father is Kurdish, my mother is Azari, we lived in the provinces, we moved to Tehran five years ago. So, you know, it is so dominant that people uh, fail to take pride in their, you know, their, their minority associations in, with their family. Persian uh, uh, inhabited areas in uh, Tehran, in Isfahan, Kirman, Yazd, uh, Shiraz, and other places. And all the peripheries, uh, ethnic peripheries, are uh, low development uh, or less development uh, regions in the country. Iran has many identities, but the primary identities historically have been the Persian identity on the one hand and the Shia identity uh, on the other. And in a sense, the two were connected because Shia Islam was adopted in 1501 by the Safavid dynasty in relation to their rivalry with the Ottoman Empire. So during the time of the Shah, the glories of the Persian Empire was the central uh, national identity in Iran. And after the 1979 revolution, uh, it was uh, Shia Islam, but not just any Shia Islam, but a very radical and intolerant interpretation of Shia Islam. And I think in terms of the politics of Iran, and certainly in terms of the human rights situation, it is perhaps the factor of ethnicity which is in a way more significant than that of religion. I mean, there is clearly uh, religious discrimination against uh, non-Shia Muslims. I mean, there, there aren't any Sunni mosques in Tehran, for example. Um, but I think because the uh, the Muslim minority population is is much smaller, uh, I think the factor of ethnicity is perhaps seen by those in power as being more threatening. <laughs> For many centuries, especially the, from the 16th century, when Shiism became the single sect, the Persian uh, ethnic movement uh, uh, wanted to create uh, the central power uh, and not be uh, diffused uh, inside the Sunni world. Okay, uh, and this policy uh, is going on. Luristan, wa Kurdistan, wa Arabistan. وأذربيجان وخراسان كانت ممالك 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 إيران المحروسة زي شلون بنقول مصر المحروسة إيران كانت هكذا بس إجا هذا العنصري الشارضة البهلوي وكان عارضة في تاريخ إيران في الواقع عارضة فهدم هذا البناء اللي هو يناسب التركيبة الأثنية في إيران وأراد أن يبني during the Reza Shah or his son's period, okay, Pahlavi period, uh, the main slogan was one God, uh, one Shah, uh, one motherland, and so on. And of course, one single official language, culture, and so on. And they took the French model in the nation state uh, building process. And they said that who uh, lives within Iran is considered as an Iranian. And a single Iranian Persian, it means it's the Persian uh, nation.
Well, the ethnic and religious diversity of Iran is often underestimated. Um, in, in fact, uh, uh, over 40% of the population, I mean, there are not any recent population figures, so it's hard to be precise, but, but more than 40% of the population are not Persian. Uh, they consist of Arabs, Baluchis, Law, Turkmen, Kurds, and also Azerbaijani Turks or Azeris. Uh, so very large, significant populations uh, across Iran. This is the road to Kurdistan. En 1945, euh, à l'époque, euh, euh, voilà, il y avait euh, les Anglais et les Russes qui ont envahi l'Iran après euh, la, la fin du de, de, de système hitlérien. Donc le chat d'Iran à l'époque s'est allié en fait à Hitler et des, des départs de l'Hitler, de, de l'échec de Hitler en fait, on a envahi l'Iran. Donc la Russie a envahi le nord d'Iran, là où il y avait l'Azerbaïdjan et le Kurdistan iranien. Et donc il y avait un vide de pouvoir à l'époque. Donc les Kurdes et les Azerbaïdjans, ils ont, ils ont profité pour créer chaque... <coughs> son, son, son république en fait. For the last decades, uh, we are witnessing uh, many interesting slogans, new slogans. One of them is uh, Tabriz, Baku, Ankara, where we are, where the Persians are. It is the literal translation. Uh, in the original, it will be uh, uh, Tabriz, Baku, uh, Ankara, Farslar, Hara, Bishara. Okay, uh, or the another slogan, uh, Azerbaijan bir olsun, merkezi Tabriz olsun. Uh, or let uh, Azerbaijan be united and uh, with the capital in Tabriz. Tabriz. أذكر في 1986 كان إحصاء عام في إيران ووزعوا التعاميم والرسائل وكذا كان في فقرة إنه حدد أثنيتك مثلا عربي آذري كردي بلوشي أو إلى آخره ففي آخر لحظات يومين قبل الإحصاء قالوا هذه ما يريد بتردوا عليها شطبوها فلم يتم لكن نحن ك ك ك كنشطاء كنا في الداخل عملنا يعني بطريقتنا عمل ميداني وعلى معايير مختلفة وهذه وصلنا إلى أنه عدد السكان العرب في إيران يتراوح بين ستة إلى ثمانية في المية من كل سكان إيران. Rappelez que le Kurdistan est divisé ou situé entre 4 et 5 pays. La majorité vivent en Turquie, puis en, en Iran, en Irak, en Syrie. Il y a aussi 400 000 Kurdes yézidis en Arménie. Il y a aussi euh, une centaine de milliers de Kurdes en, en Géorgie. Mais en ce qui concerne l'Iran, euh, il y a entre 8 et 12 millions de Kurdes. Les Kurdes sont euh, propagés sur quatre provinces principalement, qui est Ilam, 
Kermanşa Sena i Rumiye Rumiye uh, il y a aussi un million de Kurdes ou un million et demi qui se trouvent à Khorasan au nord d'Iran ils sont la par partie là-bas ont été amenés là-bas il y a cinq siècles en arrière quand à l'époque du Shah Abbas ça fait pour s'abattre contre les Russes ou autres uh, donc la, la majorité des Kurdes en Iran sont des musulmans sunnites mais en même temps il y a aussi des des musulmans euh, kurdes chiites, il y a aussi une minorité, euh, pas une... surtout dans, dans la province de Kermanshan, il y a beaucoup de Yarasan, Arihar, ce sont des kurdes qui ont une autre forme de culte ou de croyance. Et puis il y a aussi des, des kurdes euh, chrétiens, euh, il y a aussi juifs, mais qui sont partis, je crois, après la révolution islamique en, en Israël. You have said that uh, uh, Azerbaijanis or Turks in uh, Iran uh, comprise of the 40% of the population of all. And it's very interesting that you have said about this uh, 40% because many people are using uh, the uh, official or semi-official uh, sources and saying that uh, the Turks uh, in Iran uh, 16 from from 16 to 24 uh, like uh, the US sources show these uh, figures but you said 40% and 40% of course is uh, to my mind very interesting because a uh, couple of years ago being in Turkey uh, former uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, Harazi said that 40% uh, of the whole population of Iran speaks in uh, Turkish. كانت عربستان شبه مستقلة يعني الشيخ خزعل كان حكومها عربي في حتى 1925 لما أسقط الحكم العربي الشيخ رضا البهلوي أبو الشاه المخلوع فهذا الشعب يعني لفترة نحو 57 سنة من الحكم البهلوي كان يعني يرزخ تحت نوع من شبه الاستعمار إذا لم نسميه استعمار حتى يعني عشية الثورة وكانت يعني انتفاضات وحركات عشائرية وسياسية ضد النظام البهلوي لكنها فشلت جميعا C'est à ce moment-là que, si vous voulez, euh, euh, les revendications du peuple iranien prennent une grande évolution. Et c'est à ce moment-là que, malheureusement, euh, nous entrons dans cette phase de la révolution iranienne. Que euh, le leadership euh, de Khomeini aussi euh, s'impose. Parce que euh, à l'époque, en Iran, personne n'était en mesure... Euh, par exemple, d'attaquer directement euh, le char et surtout demander son départ du pays. On risquait la peine de mort. تبريك أو تهنئة يعني قيام الثورة وطرحنا يعني مطالبنا مطالب شعبنا في 12 مادة 
يعني اهمها هو اعطاء حكم الذاتي لاقليم عربستان لكن النظام الجديد لم يرد على هذه المطالبات السلمية قاموا بقمع شعبنا في يعني 30 حزيران 1979 لم تمر على الثورة إلا حوالي ثلاثة أو أربعة أشهر وقتلوا المئات وأعدموا العشرات وسجنوا الكثير من أبناء الشعب العربي في مدينة المحمرة فصاب شعبنا نوع من قيبة الأمل نحن كنا أول شعب غير فارسي يغمع في إيران ومن ثم يعني قمعوا الأكراد بعد أشهر والآذرين والتركمان وهكذا دولي Puis ils voient aussi les Kurdes comme euh, un peu euh, un mouvement qui revendique en fait euh, leurs droits nationaux, leurs droits démocratiques. Ils le voient comme aussi un incitateur à d'autres peuples iraniens, comme les Arabes d'Ahwas, les Belouchis, les Azerbaïdjan et les Turkmen, de revendiquer leurs droits de ethniques ou euh, religieux ou droits démocratiques. Donc, Khamenei pense en fait que <coughs> pardon, ce, ce groupe sont, ethnique sont des, des serpents. Mais le Kurdistan, c'est la, la tête de serpent. C'est un peu la, 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 la manière qu'il perçoit en fait la, le, le peuple kurde en Iran et les groupes ethniques. The interesting thing is that um, the experience of the minorities uh, in Iran over the last 36 years, it has had one commonality that none of them. Uh, the persons belonging to those minorities have um, had some of their rights denied, okay? So there is the common platform of some violations, but it has not been equal treatment. And the different groups, uh, uh, I've, I've published about the differences that are made between ethnic and religious minorities, the constitutional provisions and the policies differ according to them. So first of all, we can't classify all minorities as one. And secondly, when um, any government uh, points to, you know, a UN Secretary General that comes from a minority from Egypt or a foreign minister at one time in Iraq that belongs to a religious minority or, as you say, a supreme leader that comes from an ethnic um, background in Iran. Um, we should be vigilant about that. So sometimes it is completely tokenism. One person has been brought up but there is no evidence that uh, the other persons belonging to that minority group have similar mobility or chances. First of all, nearly or nine centuries, nine hundred years, Iran was ruled by Turkish dynasties, coming from Seljukid till the uh, Qajar uh, dynasty. Okay, and then uh, even during the Reza Shah period, the Turks share more position rather than uh, today. And today, uh, Turks are. Uh, lesser partners, very lesser partners in the uh, uh, power, uh, and the main uh, positions are taken by Persians. حاولوا أن يغيروا في حتى التركيب السكاني في بلوشستان في زمن الشاه والآن ل لتصبح الشيعة أكثر وال والسنة أقل في بلوشستان. في عربستان رغم أن العرب شيعة. لكن الـ 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 العداء العرقي والعداء التاريخي 
للعرب تعرف في عداء تاريخي منذ الفتوحات الإسلامية والحركة الشعوبية إلى عصرنا هذا يعني هذا في الواقع وطأتها ثقيلة هذا العداء التاريخي يندمج مع العداء الجغرافي اللي الآن موجود There has been um, what we call um, a mainly mazhabi ideology which is a nationalist religious identity uh, which fuses uh, the a Persian identity with the Shiite identity. And we even saw President Ahmadinejad going to the great ruins of Persepolis outside of uh, uh, Shiraz because he knows that among the young people today it's the Persian identity which is more important than the uh, Shiite identity. Even among the children of many of the uh, uh, clerical elites uh, who were devout Shia, you see young people that are much more interested in um, uh, girls and alcohol and uh, uh, going to a nightclub and having a good time. Uh, and for them, uh, it's the Persian identity that is more appealing than a Shiite identity that doesn't allow uh, anybody to uh, enjoy life. And I can tell you, Iranians love to enjoy life. Mm-hmm.